Hello everybody. Welcome back to another episode from Network From Home. In my previous episode, I detailed the procedure you can follow to pick out a modem that's a perfect fit for your home network. In this episode, I'll be breaking down the steps you need to take in order to get that modem set up after you receive it. As you may recall from the previous episode, the modem that I purchased is a Netgear CM700. This is the box that I received. It had a plastic wrap over it, but this is what you will get when you order something like this online. Now let's open it up and see what comes with the modem. All right, opening the box here, let's see what we have inside. Right on top here, we have some very, very important informational packets. We also have your Netgear CM700 modem. You have a power cord for the modem. And lastly, you have a Cat5e Ethernet cable that's used to connect your standalone modem and your standalone router. Okay, now that I've unwrapped my modem, the first thing I wanna do is connect the modem to the internet, and you do this through a coaxial cable. And let's walk through this to make sure you know exactly what I'm talking about here. Somewhere on your wall, you'll have a coaxial cable jack, and here is where you use a coaxial cable to connect your modem to this coaxial cable jack. What that essentially does, it provides your modem with a connection to the internet. That's because your internet service provider with a cable internet connection gives your home access to the internet through a coaxial cable. This is the same cable that's used to provide homes with cable television. So the coaxial cable itself, let's see what that looks like. I have it right here. Here's the coaxial cable. So all it does, we take the coaxial cable, we connect it to the coaxial cable jack on the back of your modem, it slides right on there, and then we screw it in. It goes without saying the other end of this coaxial cable is connected to the coaxial cable jack that's in my wall. The next thing we wanna do is we wanna provide power to our modem. So we're gonna use our power adapter to do that. We're gonna plug one end into the wall here. And then we're gonna take the other end and we're gonna plug it into the back of the modem. It should be clearly marked, but right here on the bottom is the power adapter slot. And then we just power on the modem. There's a little on off switch on the bottom. You'll start to see the modem cycle these lights here as it starts up and boots for the first time. It's gonna go through a few cycles, so I'll let you know when everything is finally ready. All right, it looks like my modem is ready for the next step. This only took about three and a half minutes. And the way that I can tell that my modem is ready for the next step is this bottom light here is the online light and it's showing a solid green. So let me see if I can give you a closer look there. So if you see that light, again, it's not great. It might look different on different modems, but that's what the light looks like. One thing to note here is if you don't have an active internet plan, this light won't turn green. So you first need to make sure you have an active internet plan with your internet service provider before moving on to the next step. So if you don't get a green light here indicating that your modem is online, that may be what you have to do. From here, there's one last major step. Now our modem has a connection to our internet service provider, but in order to have a working internet connection with this device, we actually need to activate this modem and register it with our internet service provider. My internet service provider is Xfinity and they have an app to do this. So I'll walk you through the steps on my phone. One thing we need to do before we activate this modem is we need to collect one piece of information from it. We need to collect the MAC address from the device. The MAC address is essentially just the address of the device. It ties to your internet account and that's how your internet service provider ensures that this device has an active and paying internet account associated with it. In order to get the MAC address from the device, there's usually an informational sticker on the bottom. Here I have obscured the MAC address. Let me see if I can get a good shot for you. Right on the bottom it says MAC right there and then it will give a 12 digit number for the MAC address of the device. I advise you write this MAC address down because it will make this next step of registering your modem much easier. So let's jump over to my phone and I'll show you how to activate the device. 
Okay, here we are on my cell phone. We need to access the Xfinity app here. It will have you sign in, so sign in with your internet service provider, or username and password. Okay, after we've signed in, it's pretty straightforward here. As you can see, it says activate your internet equipment. So let's go ahead and begin that activation. We have our own modem. We're not renting from our internet service provider. So we go your own modem. Then we just wanna click through here, get started. We have the MAC address of the modem. So let's enter that manually. Here you put in the 12 digit MAC address that you recorded in the previous step. Then we just go through these prompts here, continue. Continue. This is just the setup steps that we've basically already done. Connect the coaxial cable, we've done that. Plug in the power cord, we've done that. Let's check the connection. Now let's give it a minute here, see if it can establish and identify an internet connection with the device. After a few minutes, we're prompted here. It says your modem is restarting. It needs to restart before you can use Wi-Fi in the internet connection. So that's okay, go to overview. And then once your modem restarts, you should be all set. Now that our modem has fully rebooted here, we get that solid green online light again. And if you wanna verify this, you can go into your internet service provider's application and verify that it's recognizing your device and you have an active internet connection. Another word of note here about registering your modem is that at this point, most internet service providers have applications to help you with setup. If your internet service provider doesn't have an application yet, there's usually a phone number you can call. And all you need to do is provide them with that 12 digit Mac address that you recorded from the bottom of the device. Now that your modem is ready to go, the first thing you should do from a security standpoint is you should go in and change the default username and password that's used to access the settings on the device. I've previously made another video detailing how to do this. So I recommend you go check that one out right now. If you have an existing router in your home network and all you were doing was replacing your modem, you can now go ahead and connect that existing router to your modem with an ethernet cable by connecting to the back of this ethernet port here on your modem. If you're setting up your home network for the first time or you bought a new router as well, in my next video, I'll detail how to go about unboxing and setting up your router for the first time. If you like this video and the process that I detailed to get your modem up and running in a matter of minutes, please give it a like. That way it will be shared with other people who have new modems that they're looking to activate and get up and running. And lastly, if you like the topics and the things that I talk about in my channel, I invite you to subscribe. I'll have plenty more useful information coming your way here, so stay tuned. As always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home, and we'll catch you on the next one.